Just saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Absolutely, the Guardians of the Galaxy in the latest film from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So the first thing is, I want to say I loved it. I thought it was fun. Absolutely, it, it was like everything that a uh, you want a summer blockbuster movie to be. Absolutely, fun, action, interesting, cool special effects. I will say that there was a lot of action, like a tremendous amount of action. So, but it's an action movie, so I guess it can be forgiven. It's uh, more precisely an action comedy. This is a very funny movie. Yeah, I thought... it, it hits and it hits well, and the characters are well drawn, distinct, very, very well done. James Gunn, the director and co writer of this movie, killed it. You think so? I do. I absolutely do. I think his feel, because it, it's 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 quirky. This movie, mm -hmm. much more so than a lot of the other Marvel Cinematic Universe films, which are a little more conventional. And what Marvel is trying to do is try to be like we can make a superhero movie, but make it something else as well. Like with Captain America: Winter Soldier, that was an action uh, thriller, like a almost a political thriller. Mm -hmm. um, spy a spy movie with the superhero overlaid. And they're doing the same thing with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a sci-fi action comedy. All three of those things. Because it's a science fiction movie. It's aliens, it's space, spaceships, laser guns, everything. You know? And it, it, it's fantastic. And I gotta start off uh, with my, my critique. I also have to say, absolutely killing it is Chris Pratt. He is a superstar. He is gonna be... A movie star for a long time. He can do a, a dozen of these movies and, you know, well, maybe not a dozen, but you can certainly do more movies than this. And uh, Zoe Saldana is great in it. Uh, Dave Batista is uh, it's, it's solid. I, I mean, he, he's not asked to stretch that much, but, you know, as a, re, professional wrestlers turn as actors go, I'd say he gave a very solid performance. Yeah, I saw him on a uh, panel talking about his role. He got moved. He actually started, like, almost crying that because uh, he got the opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a wrestler, so uh, to, for him to get, like, a legitimate acting role in a major motion picture like this. Where I mean, there are very are. few success stories when it comes to the pro wrestler right. turned actor. I mean, there are, but... There yeah. are some, but a lot of the times they're guys that you don't know were professional wrestlers because they weren't real successful, went over to acting and became turned that into their job. Mm -hmm. But there's only been a couple of people who were big-time wrestlers like Batista, like The Rock, pretty much, is the other one. Yeah, do you know that the you said Zoe Saldana, James Gunn, if there were like more shots of her butt in this movie, then I think I mean there were. Well, like, were you? Are you complaining? I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just saying it's very funny. Like, yeah, there James were definitely Gunn a lot of. Oh, listen, man, you got the shirtless scene of Pratt in the beginning of the movie. He's like walking around in his underwear for the ladies. Give some butt shots of Saldana for the dudes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, uh, I like that, man. That's funny. And, and Batista's walking around without a shirt on the whole damn movie with his yeah. crazy alien tattoos and whatnot. Um, it looked very cool. It very cool. Everybody looked great. Um, I also have to say the voice work done by uh, Bradley, Bradley, Cooper. Bradley Cooper and and Vin Diesel man did more with those three lot word three words he says I am Groot is all he says in that movie and he is, there's emotion in there he does a lot with the same dialogue. I, I, I'm not going to forget your lines when that's your dialogue, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, but also they were, had real personalities. I mean, they Absolutely. were completely CGI and they had incredible personalities. Uh, yeah, you feel for Rocket. Rocket right. is just... Uh, you just... Uh, and that's, part of, that's partially Bradley Cooper's voice work, but got to give credit to the people who put that together. Right, because yeah. he looked... He looked yeah, he, he looks like a raccoon. I mean, you really... You believe he is there. You don't... Your, your eyes are completely deceived by the CGI works and the special effects were fantastic. And also the, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Lee Pace plays Ronan the Accuser, the bad guy in the movie. He is uh, very solid. Also in it is, uh, is uh, Karen Gillan playing uh, the, his, his sidekick uh, Nebula. And she, if anybody remembers her from Doctor Who, she is completely different in this. And also completely bald. <laughs> Shaved her head for reels too, because that's, that's that's they showed at Comic Con last year. Yeah, she and she looked amazing. I mean, the makeup yeah. was insane. Yeah. The CG was insane. 
the you know you have these you have an action movie so in an action movie you gotta show some action that you've never seen before they did that you gotta show special effects that uh, to a new a new level they did that yes. they showed cool things I mean just dramatic landscapes where yeah absolutely the alien worlds felt alien outside when they needed to Xandar the one of the primary settings for this movie actually feels very earth like but more an idyllic earth I would say. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Stan's cameo was amazing. Oh, oh, as always. Stan's always great in the cameos. Um, uh, let's see, am I forgetting anything By else? By the way, they announced that they're going to have a part two. Yep, Guardians so. 2. So that, that, and it should, because this is fantastic. This is a really, really great film. And, uh, oh, it you know, I can't go without saying, it's very touching at points. I was very moved. Two tears at several points in the movie. Because Peter Quill has kind of a tragic backstory yeah. and they hinted that right from the get-go you find out what where peter quill comes from immediately and that's chris pratt's character Peter quill star lord <laughs> you know so another thing i want to say about it is there are things in the movie that pay off right like so james gunn did a very good job making this film because you think like oh he's just doing this to be you know just to give like a texture to these characters but each thing sort of pays off in its own way. Even, oh, yeah, absolutely. And the music plays a major role in the film, which is was which was unexpected. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely, it, and it works so well. Oh, I forgot Michael Rooker as Yondu. He's great too. He is, yeah, yeah to just him. I mean, a very Rooker esque character. I'm not gonna I'm gonna confess, but I'm telling you, man, that was great Rooker and just re really spectacular. Very, very happy overall. I, I have to say, bro, 95. I love this movie. 95? 95. I love this movie. Uh, I love this movie more than Captain America Winter Soldier, and I love Captain America Winter Soldier. It is a pinnacle, man. That, that is a feat. And these are for characters I didn't give a damn about prior to. Uh, that. You know, in the comics, I knew of them, but I didn't really care about any of them. And I loved every character in this movie. Every well, every all the guardians, Ronan. You don't want to love. You you want to hate. And he is, and Lee Pace does a great job of making him loathsome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, let me just. I think I liked it a little bit better than Captain America, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm probably gonna give it. I probably give it like a ninety-one. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it just it hit I praise from him, guys. <laughs> and there, there's certain things I did I didn't like. There's certain things while I'm watching that sort of pulled me out of it. But I thought it sort of they actually buttoned it up a little bit by the end about why it was that way. So some of you know some of the things I thought were pretty unbelievable turned out to be pretty believable actually. Mm -hmm. in Absolutely. Um, I don't have really you know the ending. There's some there's something that's a little bit questionable, but. I mean, it was cool. I mean, it, it was just cool. It was cool and funny. It yeah. was really funny. I, I laughed a ton in this movie. Yeah. So, if you want to see a movie that is funny, full of action, uh, inventive, um, visually stunning, uh, fast-paced... Uh, I have to say, man, this is like might be the best sci-fi action comedy since Ghostbusters. I mean, seriously. I, I can't think of a better sci-fi action comedy, which is pretty specific. Uh, in, but I, uh, I, don't, I don't necessarily agree that Chris Pratt's going to be a, an action star. I don't yeah. think. I think he's a good actor, and I think he was great for well, that maybe, role. Maybe, maybe it's maybe you know, it's the just whole time guy. in the movie, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? That when I can't wait to see the Hulk interact with these characters. <laughs> yeah, me too, you know what That's what I was saying. Like, oh, I, I, I they're, can't they're, wait. They're, yeah, it was Iron a little Man, disappointing no Marvel yeah, cameo. Right, I would have been... Would, yeah, don't spoil that, but I, I would have, like... Let's see, like, Iron Man. Like, I, I can't wait to see Iron Man interact with these characters exactly. and the Hulk interact and Thor. And, and uh, because... The, it, seeing the Avengers interact with these cats would be crazy. It's going to be so fun. And then... Uh, in And the villains, too. Like, the Avengers combating the villains in this would be... Um, extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So, I think Marvel really sort of 
expanded their universe. Heck yes, man. And the universe it. is huge now. There's so many places they can go and take these characters. Because as much as they established the Guardians of the Galaxy, they also established the world behind beyond Marvel Earth. The Marvel Gal the Galaxy, the Milky Way Galaxy gets a personality in this movie. Yeah, and there's setups for future movies. And there's a there's a scene in this movie that you cannot miss. It's in the middle, and I'm not going to talk about it very much. I would just say that it was extraordinary to see on the screen. Mm -hmm. It was, it was awesome. Absolutely, so, absolutely. So uh, like and subscribe, and go see this movie if you have any desire. If you're at all a fan of the Marvel movies, you must see this movie. Yeah, you'll love it. All right, peace, peace.